It was great listening to you. You wanted to worship and to praise the Lord. And honestly, you did it in a wonderful manner. It was beautiful. We are celebrating years of existence of the New Apostolic Church here. And looking back, we have so many reasons to praise God and to worship Him. You know, young people, they always want to tell others what they have achieved, what they have done. It begins with the children. They have to tell, oh, mom, I did this and I did that. But when you become older and you become wiser, then you talk much less about what you did. And you are more and more aware that God did everything. And looking back the history to New Apostolic Church, we realize how great God has been acting. And old men like me, <laughs> when we look back on our life, we realize how great God has been working. And the more experience you have in faith, the more thankful you become. Because, because more and more you realize the great work of God. And you know, we know only a small part of God, of what God is doing. I just remember the story of the five blind men. Oh, just a small story. It's for the children also. But you can listen too. <laughs> they were fine five blind men. They wanted to know what an elephant looks like. For sure, they were blind. They couldn't see an elephant. Then a friend took them to an elephant. And they said, okay, you can touch him. So the first blind man came, came and touched the body. And the four others asked him, so what does it look like? And that, oh, an elephant, that's like a very solid wall. It's ah. very solid, it's a solid wall. Wow. The second one came. And he went and he came to the leg of the elephant. And he touched the leg. No, 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 an elephant is like a big column. The third one came and he went to the, the back of the elephant and he touched the tail. I said, you are silly, an elephant, it's like a string. <laughs> Then the other one came. He went to the head elephant and he touched the trunk. I said, oh, no, the elephant is like a serpent. 
And the last one came and he touched the ivory tusk. I said, no, no, an elephant is a dangerous weapon. Look, each of them was absolutely right. He described what he has experienced. But no one was able to have a global vision of the elephant. As human beings, we are like this blind man when it comes to talk about God. We can only, only grasp, a, a grasp a part of God's being. And knowing only these parts, we can say, God is great! But brothers and sisters, the faithful one who will enter the kingdom of God, they will see the whole image of God in his whole glory. There are no words to describe it. And that's why we will be able to praise God in eternity. And after 10,000 years, we will still have some reasons to praise and glorify God. Because the glory of God is so great, it's beyond everything we can imagine. So that's the lesson I keep from today. We have so many reasons to thank and praise God. We do not want to talk about what we achieved. Let us praise God for His grace and His deeds. And it's worth remaining faithful until the end. Because the glory of God we will experience is much greater than everything we can imagine. Okay, but they didn't come to preach. Actually, I came to listen to them. <laughs> but that's the danger. You give a mic to the chief apostle, he preaches. <laughs> Again, thank you. It was wonderful to share this afternoon with you. You did great things. Don't forget, with his help. So let's say thank you to our Heavenly Father. Almighty God, dear Heavenly Father, Yes, indeed, we have so many reasons to thank you and to praise your holy name. We love you, dear Father, and we thank you for everything you did for us. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for having established your work of salvation in this country too. We thank you for all the brothers and sisters we have in this country. For all the faithful brothers and sisters who serve you. Dear Father, bless their service. And now we are looking forward to the coming Sunday. We are longing for your grace and new strength. Please, please grant us your blessing. And all we need to be and remain strong and joyful children of God. Grant us also your angel protection. And grant us more than we can ask. We ask it all in Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. Now, just be seated. The district apostle has something to announce, to explain, whatever. Do your job. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. 
Uh, it's been great joy this afternoon to be here and to listen to the choir. Our hearts have been moved to see the development that has happened. As most of you are aware, uh, the district of East Africa is now 10 years old. Uh, district here East Africa, it was here in Uganda that the district apostle was ordained on the 29th of May 2009. The apostle was ordained on the 29th of March 2009. And the district was officially created. And it was the desire of the apostles that we should celebrate with a cake. We are not celebrating our own achievement. But we are celebrating what God has done. And so there's a beautiful cake prepared here. We're not going to make a big ceremony out of it. But I'd like to invite the District Apostle Lubasi to come and cut for us the cake. <laughs> Let's sing the closing hymn as the chief apostle leaves.